I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power! You're gross. Don't fall. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? Seriously, Chloe, this is scary. What if Frank tries to track us down? I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Why? I bet she would hate me. You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Ugh. Blocking the drum. <sighs> this wedge locks the drum in place. Hurry! Shit, I can't budge it at all. Please get me out of here! I can definitely use this bad boy. MacGyver. Oh, 
Okay, oh, what can I slice with this? Now I can finally move the drum. Get me out of here, Max! I have to help lift Chloe up. I got splinters in my ass and leg, so I wish there was a less violent way for you to save me. And now the trains can't get to the lumber mill. Oops. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. I don't see how. It's so friggin' random. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price. A superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. So are you going to that Vortex Club party? Like I would miss it. I have the sweetest outfit. Max, can we talk? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. 
It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. Hey Warren, are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer, perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I have a vision. go diem go -diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Damn, zip, nothing. Hey, Warren. Maxwell Silver. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Weird science. Bring me the brain, Igor. This can't be that hard. Me, Kate. Why? Wonder why they don't use real skeletons. Knock off this martyr crap. So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Don't. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <laughs> The one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. That was a private conversation. Not that I wouldn't tell you. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Okay. Uh-huh. Sure, okay. 
Make me beautiful, Hayden. Vogue. 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 Dana, Do you, you think Max will be pissed control. we're sitting at her Turn desk? Up, you better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Taylor. Did you think we you were best like friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max, so I won't forget you. Assholes. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see we you have later. a lot to cover today and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student? Or a friend? I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people I to I guess judge. Kate will miss class now. Usually, people need I'm worried about else, her. So they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality. TV for some of that. In the end, we can only... blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my Yo! Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen! Everybody remain seated. Dismissed. She can't die. She can't. Ugh. Not again. 
again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. I'll always be here for you, Kate. My new motto is, friends come first. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon, then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good, we all need to have each other's backs. So I want you to come with me now. Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out, like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. You told me about your sisters, especially the youngest one. 
What's her name? That's Lynn. She's only 10. She does have the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. talking about you saved me from talking in class now I know today was difficult for everybody but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen. As our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me. I think I can use my power again. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen, ever. You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause. 
Like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Lauren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week.